there is a brand new MMORPG on the block, and it's the awesome so awaited Guardians of Claudia, which has just got to the open beta phase right now. This game takes us to Claudia, a kingdom within the clouds with a lot of lush wildlands and settlements, land to both men and magical creatures alike. Your adventure throughout this realm will take you to many different biomes as you complete quests, level up your character, upgrade your skills and make new friends during your travels. Guardians of Claudia offers the typical gameplay experience that you expect from a mobile game of this genre, with the standard auto quest and auto combat features, character upgrading system and lots of grinding. And on the other hand, this game has a pretty nice presentation with detailed graphics awesome combat animations and pretty good performance even when the action escalates, all wrapped nicely in a cute fantasy art style. And when playing this game on the PC with Plustex, you can finally appreciate all of the little details, from the awesome environments and areas down to each individual frame and character's animation. And since you can play this game on your gaming rig, you won't ever have to deal with performance issues and battery drainage. Not to mention that you will be able to play with your keyboard and mouse and have access to a ton of awesome features. But before I can talk about all of that, let's first take a look on how to actually download and install the game. To install and play Guardians of Claudia, firstly head out to the Bluestacks official website and download and install Bluestacks 4. Once installation is finished, open the app and look for Claudia here on the search bar on the top right corner. Now click on install from the search results and install it, just like you would on your regular phone. Once installation is finished, the icon will show up here on the home screen. Just click on it and start playing. And now let's take a look on all of the benefits of playing this game with Bluestacks. The very first thing you notice when launching Guardians of Claudia is probably that the game looks quite nice. Not only does it have a nice art style, but it also runs pretty well out of the box, especially when you're looking at it at a large monitor. However, while the base settings are nice, they are nearly everything that this game has to offer, as you can still crank up the graphics to the max to enhance the visuals and performance. So with that being said, make sure to go to the graphics settings and put everything to the max. And also remember to unlock the frame rate, so that you can achieve the silky smoothness that Bluestacks provides. And all of these vision and performance enhancements will not only make the game look better, but it also give an edge in combat as you won't suffer from lag or slowdown. And you'll be able to see everything much clearly. The combat in this MMORPG can get very quick and fast paced. Especially once you move on to the most advanced areas where you need to go up against hordes of enemies at the same time. And in times like this, you need the best controls in order to move around the field, avoiding enemies attacks with ease while counter-attacking with deadly precision. Luckily, by playing on Bluestacks, you'll be able to use the key mapping tool, which allows you to use your keyboard and mouse to improve your gameplay experience by quite a lot. Through this key mapping tool, you can create intuitive control schemes for a wide variety of games, using your mouse and keyboard allowing you to overcome the limitations of mobile games' clunky touchscreen controls. And you can even design your own control schemes. So to access this feature, just click on this keyboard icon and press View Edit Game Controls. Here you can view and edit all the controls through the game guide here on the right. And if you are having a hard time trying to remember which key does what, you can also toggle the overlay by pressing on this icon here on the right. But just in case you want to make some adjustments or there's a specific thing you don't like, well, you can pretty much change everything. To do that, press this keyboard icon again and proceed to open advanced editor. Choose the key mapping to itself and here you can drag and drop the shortcuts from the right into anywhere on the screen to add new shortcuts and even modify the current bindings to something more suitable to your preferences. As a MMORPG, you can expect to run into several tough enemies and challenges in Guardians of Claudia, which normally would require you to group with other players. However, if you don't have a lot of friends to play with and you want to take this challenge out by yourself, well, you can use the Multi Instance Manager. With this feature, you can create multiple accounts and access the game with all of them at the same time. And since the game has a lot of auto combat systems, you can simply access the tough content using your group of accounts, 
activate the auto combat and simply watch as everything in your path gets destroyed. So to access this feature, just click on this little icon here on the right panel and create as many instances as you like. The best way to play Guardians of Claudia is of course by using Bluestacks. And aside from having better performance, you have access to a variety of tools that are designed to improve your experience significantly. So what are you waiting for? Download Bluestacks now, link in the description. But anyway, that's it for now, thank you very much for watching and bye bye.